Former Uber CEO Travis is quoted as saying in the Uber files that violence guarantees success. Recent Guardian report highlights these Uber files listed on texts, emails, and invoices of Travis, saying the way the company grew to such prominence was on this idea that violence guarantees success. That if you are hostile and aggressive in trying to push away taxi car companies or others, then your company will be successful and, of course, Travis believed, I will be great. In short, the meek will not inherit the earth, only the hostile will. The irony, of course, and, and somehow seems to be forgotten in the news media, is that Travis used to be praised. Oh, he used to be so forward-thinking, so progressive, so kind, so great. But we saw who he really was. We saw when the Uber files were revealed that, that someone who seemed to be so American, so forward-thinking, well, he was driven by selfishness and greed and anger and all these other things. He was still human. Technology hadn't made us better. Technology hadn't fundamentally changed our arc. It had continued us to being evil and sinful and wrong. It just hides it better, especially if we have good lawyers. Psalm 119 hath, I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. You can seek the face of pleasure, you can seek the face of glory, you can seek the face of anything else in this world, and well, one day your sinful desires will be revealed. But I encourage you in a rat, uh, dog eat dog rat race world, I seek your face, Lord. Be gracious to me according to your promise. You may not have the tech CEO life, but how many of them have crashed and burned to show us that that kind of life isn't sustainable or happiness? or happy and given us happiness. Instead, we're gonna seek a, a simple, a humble, a Christian life. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I don't need the success of Hollywood. I don't need the world. I just need my God to love me. And I know he does, the cross is empty. The tomb is empty, heaven is my home. I know the promises we have. I know the future is mine. So what if I don't have the success in this world I always dreamed of? That's not my biggest dream, is it?